Lesson 3, Unit 5 To Manage Meta Information Systems, MIS A management information system is a set of processes and technology used to manage project information. The design of the system is driven by the requirements from key stakeholders who need information to make decisions. Key stakeholders include the organization's management team, donors, partners, and beneficiaries. An MIS helps the project by organizing all the information so that it can be easily found and used for different purposes. It also includes the processes for the quality of data processing, security of information, and dissemination information to users. The quality of the MIS plays an important role in ensuring that reliable and timely project information is available for operational and strategic decision making. Depending on the volume and the type of data to collect, the project manager will need to make a decision about the type of system needed to help manage all the information. Among the factors to consider are the requirements for information from key stakeholders, especially those that need information to make decisions, the type of technology from simple text tools to complex online databases, the cost of developing and implementing a system, and the effort to train staff and provide with technical support. One of the first steps of defining and planning for an MIS is to understand the information flows in the project. There are six basic processes that define these flows, locating and collecting community data, organizing and storing the data, the analysis and reporting of information, the use of information by primary and secondary recipients of the information, Data and information flows from its sources to the people that use it to make decisions. During this journey, data is transformed into information and knowledge. Different people interact in the process and all of them have a different role, but the flow is not one way. It also flows backward to make changes that will help improve the project interventions. Another way to look at the flow is to look at the different phases of the project. From the moment a project is designed, information about the log frame is used to develop the project plans and assign responsibilities to the team. During the monitoring phase, the flow focuses on collecting, analyzing, and reporting data. In this phase, decisions are made to make changes to improve the project interventions. In the evaluation phase, the evaluation report, either midterm or a final report, will include additional data that will be used to assess the effectiveness of the project. This information is also used as lessons learned to improve the performance of the project or future projects. The flow of information is influenced by the type of systems or technology that the project will use. At the field level, some of the data will be collected using paper forms or, if available, smartphone applications. This information is then entered in a computer network, where it is stored for analysis and reporting. The use of technology can significantly improve the process of sharing information with key stakeholders, either by the internet or the development of reports that can be distributed in hard copies via email. Each project will need to design an MIS that fits their needs, but the limitations of the context and the environment, access to the internet, and the cost of technology have an influence on the type of MIS it can use. One element that's important to understand when planning for an MIS is the information management cycle. The cycle consists of nine steps. The initial three steps of defining the data, locating the data, and selecting the data are the foundations. This step includes the process to ensure that the data meets the needs of the project, that is easy to access, and is of good quality. The next three steps focus on the management of data and its transformation into information collecting the data, organizing and storing the data, and analysis of the data. The last three steps include the process to report information, stakeholders using the information to make decisions, and an evaluation of the cycle to continuously improve it and make it more efficient. When planning for the MIS, the project manager will need to identify and decide what are the most important components the MIS should have. In general, a good MIS should have at least seven components, and they all need to speak with each other. 
These are the modules of integration, scope, schedule, budget, team, beneficiaries, and results. The first module or component is integration. The system needs to be connected. All modules need to be integrated so that all information can be used in an efficient manner, avoiding duplication of data and to facilitate the process of analysis and reporting. The next module is a scope. It provides information about the work breakdown structure in the project. This includes information about the project goals, objectives, outputs, activities, and tasks that are required by the project to deliver the expected benefits. The modules will include detailed information on each activity, including instructions and quality standards that the project has to follow. The third component is the schedule, which provides information on the time the activities will occur. This module registers information about the start, duration, and end of all project activities. It shows information in the form of calendars or Gantt charts, identifying milestones and dependencies within activities or even other projects. The next component is the budget. It organizes information on all the costs of the project. This information will include the original estimates made to plan the project budget. The module helps track the performance of the budget by monitoring the actual cost versus the planned cost. The module uses accounting standards to organize information. The module can also be connected to the organization's financial system to help develop financial reports. The fifth component organizes information about the people in charge of the project activities. The module helps define the roles and responsibilities, the type of skills they have, their competencies, and even the information about project partners and everyone who's responsible for activities in the project. Information about the stakeholders is another important component of the MIS. This is where the project will include information on beneficiaries of the project. That includes information on who they are, their location, their type of interest, and influence they have on the project. This module will also include demographic data about beneficiaries and other types of information that can help in the analysis of beneficiaries involved in the project. The final component organizes information about results obtained by the project. This module is closely related to scope module. This module helps track progress of indicators against the plan that the project developed. The module will track progress comparing baseline data and the expected targets the project plans to achieve for each indicator. Additional elements of this module include information on risk and assumptions. The MIS components provide a complete set of information that the project manager and the team will use during the next phases of the project. All the components are integrated. That means that information is shared across the modules to provide a complete picture of the project, which in turn makes the analysis and the reporting of the data much easier. Integration is not only limited to the various modules of an MIS. Where possible, the project manager should seek to integrate the MIS horizontally with other organization systems and processes and vertically with the needs and requirements of other agencies trying as much as possible to align the MIS with existing management information systems.